Hello and welcome to another Affinity Photo Tutorial. This time we are going old school. I'm going to show you how to edit your photo negatives films. This is a quick technique without using any plugins, without using any additional softwares. This is going to be purely Affinity Photo and what Affinity Photo can do. So let's start this tutorial. Let me drag in the image that we're going to use and I'm going to load a raw image and we're going to edit this one. First of all, let's straighten the image and crop it. So I'm going to straighten, click on one corner, click on the other corner, make it straight. Then let's crop the frame. Just get rid of this junk. In order for this software to work better, I recommend to crop the frame to its initial size, so basically something like this. If you'd like to keep this film margin, it's, it's okay, looks nice, but the software will interpret as a light area, so the auto coloring is going to is not going to work basically or at least not not good you'll see how easy it is so basically i cropped right now let's hit enter to commit to this check one more time and i think that's the only that's the only thing that i'm going to do here in this um, develop persona let's rotate this one so go document rotate 90 degrees anti-clockwise and now I'm going to invert it. There are multiple ways you can invert this image. I'll show you uh, the quickest way is Alt or Command I. And there you go, you've inverted the image. Another way you can do it is basically go here in the adjustment panel, click on invert and default, and it will add an invert adjustment layer. But I don't want that, so the easier way is just Alt-E and it will invert. And of course this inversion doesn't have any options on, so it's not helpful. Alt or Command-I and that will do the trick. Okay, I said that we are going to use um, Affinity Photo filters, so we go filters, colors, and the best thing you, we can do actually, you know, but let's duplicate the layer, right click, duplicate, let's work on it so you'll see the difference between one and the other. So go filters, colors, auto level, immediately looks way, way, way better. Filter, color, auto contrast, filter, color, auto color, and filter, colors, white balance. Now with white balance I think it's a little bit warmer so I'm going to hit Control Z or Alt Z on and go with the adjustment layer so we go default first and we can make it warmer from here. Think. And we put a reddish tint here. And that should be it. Or if you want, if you have like a, you know that you have a white frame, you can go picker. And let's say this, this edge here was white-ish. So I cannot use it 100% as a white reference, but just for you to know, click on it and it will make this white balance, uh, balance on the color that you picked. So... Uh, I think it's too much, so I'm going to move it like 20%. Uh, let's say 25. Looks good. Okay. One more thing. I want to crop again this image. Usually I don't do that, but because I was in a hurry, I have um, I didn't align the shot perfectly. So this particular image deserves another crop. So let's straighten the image. I'm going to use this edge as my guide. And then I'm going to crop it. So 
So we'll not have these edges here. Try to keep as much as the details in the picture as you can. Hit enter. And that looks 100 times better. Okay. Another thing that I could introduce to this one is some frequency separation. So basically the HSL uh, from Photoshop. This is going to give me a um, sharpened image. I don't want to, well, I want to overdo it, but I think three pixels should be enough. Hit apply. And there you go. Let's see, let's zoom in a little bit. This looks 100 times better. What else you can do here? I think we can just play with the selected colors here. Go default, go to greens and just try to make those green. Oh, change a little bit of color so they can can stand out, but being a film, I, I just really like this grain image, old one, so I'm going to keep it like this. And that concludes our tutorial for this week. I hope you enjoyed it and consider subscribing if you want to receive more videos like this. Um, comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. If you really enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It will uh, help with the YouTube gods. Until next time, take care. See you around.